question so so today i'm going to introduce a very simple tool for the physics animation the simulation so i will start the session so here i'm sharing my screen So today I'm going to introduce a very simple tool which is L Algodoo. So what is Algodoo basically? So this is a 2D sandbox in which we can create the 2D animation and the simulation. And this tool is freeware. So you can download it from its website and use anywhere. And this is called the sandbox. Sandbox basically means that like kids used to play in the and, and they try to create uh, using their animation anything. In the same way, in the algorithm, we can create anything, whatever we want to create. And this is basically a very great tool to enjoy the visual representation of the physics in motion. And this is very good for the mechanics problems. And we, anyone can uh, learn this easily because this is very simple to, to design, construct, and explore the world of physics. So we can create in, in animations and simulations of the physics using this tool. And we require there is no coding for this is for the simulation. So Algodoo can be used as an animation tool, simulation tool, engineering tool, and the gaming tool. But I will I will discuss about the animation tool and the simulation tool. Now what are the features of the Algodoo? This is free to use and Interface of this this uh, this tool is very easy, and even this which is very user friendly. Anyone can explore this and learn it easily. And it exploration of the algorithm makes learning fun. It uh, it develop in a way like it looks like a, in a cartoony manner, and you can enjoy while uh, while exploring the tool. And we can show the practical enactment of the concept of the physics. And we can create the simulation on the fundamental concept of the physics. It enriches the conceptual knowledge of the learner. And when we're creating the simulations related to the physics in a motion mechanics, so we will get the output of these simulations in the graphical form. And we can analyze it. And in a same way, we can create the animation for the different different concepts of the physics, like fluids, related to the fluids also. So now on which technology it is based on? It is based on the algoric simulation AB, where we can interact with the multi -sim multi physics simulations on the different different concepts, and it is compatible with the both Windows and the Mac OS. We can download it also for the iPad, and it is also optimized for the smart classes. Also, we can download it for the smart classes and show the students and give the assignments to the students to show their creativity on different topics. And while the playing on this tool, they can learn also. Now, what are the rights for this tool? We cannot modify the uh, this tool. We cannot give the grant to the brand. This tool leaves on loan. Even not, we can sell, distribute, and the create directory works based on this service. And this tool is developed in a way that it work on only on a single computer. If you are working on the one computer, you cannot uh, you cannot transfer this on the another computer. So your work is only saved on that computer only. And do not copy, modify, and the create directive work of and the reverse engineering. It means that we cannot change the software source code code of the software and we cannot give a grant um, license to anyone. And the modification of in the software is prohibited. We cannot change in any manner. And reproducing, duplicating, copying, selling, and exploiting the software is forbidden also. And we cannot use it for the commercial purposes. So let's learn it. 
So first of all, we have to visit the its website, which is algodo.com. Okay, so first we have to visit its website, algodo.com. For that, I'm sharing another screen. So we have to type the algodo.com. So you will see this screen. So here you can see the option for the downloading and what is it about all the things. And then after downloading it, we will get this page. We can download it from here. And we can download for the Windows also and the, for the Mac operating system also. When we download it, after downloading, it will be the home screen of this tool. So here you can see the different, different options like top menu, browser, toolbar options, tool options, how to control the simulation, and can we can change the environment also and properties, so I will tell in the tool. So this is a toolbar option. Here we have different different drawing tool, editing tool, and the, uh, some physics elements, which can add the physics in the simulations also. And here, this one is a browser menu. Here we can browse the other other simulations also. We can save our scenes. If we, if we want to change the background, we can change from here. We can share the scene. We can take the tutorial from here also. And few elements also saved here. I will tell in the detail one by one in the simulation. So here if we draw something and if we want to change the property of the material, we can change from here. If you want to change the color of the that material, we can change from the appearances. And if you want to visualize the like forces, velocity, momentum, we can visualize from here. So this is the simulation control. From this here, from we can play and pause the simulation. And also, if you want to change the gravity, also we can change from here. Okay. So these are the drawing tools. First one is a sketch, brush, polygon, plane, box, circle, and the chain. And sketch is the one of the main tool of this is this algodo using this all other tools are wrapped in one single tool using this tool we can we can do the work of other tools also i draw from the using these tools and these are the resizing and the editing tool if you want to change the size of any any object tool uh, we can yes I, we cannot see any uh, icons you are demonstrating here. We just see um, only um, website is visible on the um, screen. Okay, okay, sorry. Huh. I will share this. Okay, now is it visible? Uh, yes, yes, now it is visible. So after do downloading the Algodo, we will reach to this page. Here we have the toolbar option, browser option, top menu, and here in the right, right corner we have the properties, and in the uh, middle one we have a simulation control where we can play the uh, simulation if you want to change the speed of the simulation, we can change from here. So 
this one is the toolbar option here we have a uh, other the tools like uh, drawing tool editing tool and the physics related tool like knife to cut the object to drag the object we have this tool and we have a sketch to draw anything if you want to rotate we have these tools also so i will tell in detail one by one and this is a browser and the top menu here if you want to change the scene we can click on the new scene in, and we creating a simulation so we can save and share here also and uh, all the scenes which i creating will be saved in the my scenes folder and in the L, this one is the algo box algo in the algo box we can share our scenes to our simulation and we can see others also and in the components we get the uh, like the lenses uh, prism and laser light also like components related to these in the lesson tutorial we will get the lessons related to the physics which you which can be used as a teaching aid we can use the, these lessons and this is the properties in the properties we, if you want to change the or uh, material of the object using this we can change the material object if you want to change the appearance of the object we can click on this and if you want to show the forces and visualize the forces masses velocities momentum we can use this on the visualization we can change them and this is a simulation control like if you want to play the simulation if you want to pause the simulation if you want to uh, increase the speed of the simulation or decrease the simulation if you want to move the pan like move this scene we can use this and zoom in zoom out we can use in the same way if we use the gravity air friction uh, buoyancy so we can use these options so i will in the algodo tool i will tell in detail so these are the drawing tools like sketch brush polygon clay box circle chain and the scale sketch is the one of the the uh, best tool for the algodo using this sketch we can use the work, we can do the work of other tools also so all other tools are wrapped in this single tool and i created using these tools this tool. so i will show our, our my simulation also and these are the resizing and the editing tool like if you want to move the object we can use this move tool if you want to cut the object we use a knife if you want to rescale the object like increase or decrease the size of the object we can use a scale if you want to rotate the object and if you want to copy the object like if we i draw a circle and i want the other circle of same type so i will use the clone up so using editing tool knife tool i cut this box in two parts and these are the tools which add the physics elements in the simulation like laser pan string gravity fixed friction axle and the thruster so the, this is the simulation which i created i'll show you minute So first, I am showing the conservation of energy. Uh, I think screen screen is visible. Animation is visible. Finally, response. so this is a simulation of the simple pendulum and we get the graphical output of this simple pendulum
in the same way we have other solution also like inertia Yes, sir. Sir, you are not auditing. Madam, how to find out the time period for one complete oscillation of the system? So you have created uh, this uh, simulation. It's okay. Is it available? Yes, hey, sir. I created on the tool using this tool. So I will tell in the algorithm so how to create. Okay. So we okay. uh, we have other also. Like I created a one related to the liquid pressure. Are you able to see the simulation on the liquid pressure? So I created this simulation also on the Elgodo tool. And the free fall also. This is the projectile motion of the ball. Now back to the presentation. So I created these small simulations using this tool. So using your creativity, you can explore, you can create anything. So keep exploring algodo. So I will start to the algodo. I'm sharing the screen. So once we download the Algodo, after opening, we will see this page. This is the home page of the Algodo. So on the screen, you will see this box. First, we have to set up the language. We can set up a language. If you want to change the look of the screen, we can also change this. Here also, like set language and activate or go to language. And if you want to dark or light, we can change our choice. And we can, as I already told you, we can use it on the iPad. And also we can, so we can select the touch screen if you are using on the iPad and the mouse and keyboard if we are working on the system. So I'm using the mouse and the keyboard. So this will tell you the uh, like options also. Like I will tell. So I'm closing this. So I'm telling. Here is the file. So 
Here you can create the new field. So here you can see the file option where I can select the new scene, save scene, and load scene. So here I'm changing the scene of the screen. So I'm to, we have 15 templates. So I can choose any one of them. So I'm choosing the first one, which is the default. So first I will discuss about the these drawing tools how to draw anything first one is the sketch if we want to draw a square so we will draw roughly a square and hold the mouse sorry to draw a rectangle If you want to a circle, we will actually draw a circle. It will change in the proper circle. And if you want to a triangle, and if you want to cut to the cut any object, we will use the knife. It divided the box in two parts. So if I want to one part, so I can use this move option and move these two parts. And this one is a drag option. Drag option is used when we, while playing the simulation, if you want to move something using the drag. And if we want to rotate the object, we will click on the rotate option. We can change in any angle. Rotate the object. If you, I, I want to change the sign of this object, so I will use the scale option. So these are the drawing tools, and other we have other drawing tools also is the brush. If I want to draw roughly anything, I can use this best option. And if I want to re erase anything, we have an eraser also. Like we erase the object in the paint, we can erase here also. In polygon. Using the polygon, we can also create the box, square, and sketch also doing the work of the polygon even in even other tools also so if you want to select all the objects we will use the move tool and select like this and if you want to delete you can delete it and if you want to clear the background of this like i am playing the simulation you can see that these objects if i want to hide these so I will click, right click on the screen and I will click on the draw cloud. So I will un uncheck this box. So you will see the background is clear. Okay. So first I will tell you how about the motion. Like I'm drawing a car. I draw a box. Then I draw a circle. So I want the other tire of same size also. So I will click right click on it and then click on the clone. So when I click on it, then they are not joined yet. So to move these tires, I got an axle. So here we have an Excel tool. So I will choose this and fit in this. Mm -hmm. 
दी फ्लोइंग ऑब्जेक्ट देन आई इन सेटिंग एक्सिस and after x in setting the axle i will click on the right click on it and choose the axle and click on the motor in a same way on other tire also so it will start moving so i have to follow the motion of this car So I will again right click on it, then click on the selection, then click on the follow, and I will check this box. And if I want the plot. of this motion then then i will select this car then click on the show plot after right click on it i will see these options so i will click on the show plot and i will get the graph between the time and the speed or whatever you want the position and this motion is a uniform so we will get the straight line graph If I want the uniform motion, this is the plane option. If I want to add the plane using this tool, I can create a plane, and I will again choosing the simulation, playing the simulation, and. and you see the change in the graph uh chinti can you please bit uh, can you please bit louder okay your volume is very low i couldn't hear you properly okay so in a same way i'm creating the other also other simulation also so i am creating a first related to the uh, fluid so for that i will draw a container so using this brush first i draw a container First, I draw a box, and I will fix this. When I click on this simulation, then because of the gravity, it will adjust on the surface. So, I if I want to fix this box on the background, then I will again select this box, click on the geometry action, and glue to background. now i want the water in this box so for that i want this box to hollow so i will again create a box of size smaller than this let's put this box on this increase the size so 
I will cut this much part from this box. Then I will select the upper one. Then click on the combine shapes and then subtract. Now I get the boxes in whole. Then again I will put this back here. And I want the water in this. Then I select this box. Then again right click and then liquefy. So it turned into the water. You can see the water here. And I'm creating the one simulation to the float and the sink. So here I'm taking the three balls of same size and clone it. And I want to change the material of this these objects. So as I already told in the right corner, we have the properties related to that. So I will click on the first one. First I choose the wood. Second one is the steel. Then stone. So we will see which object will float and which will sink. And as we know that the if the density of the object is higher than the water, then it will sink, and lower than the water, it will float. I will click on the simulation. So you will see that the ball which is made of a stone and the steel sink in the water, but the ball which is made of a wood is floating on the water. And in my sense, I have created few simulations. I will show you. Like when I created on the motion of the earth around the sun. When I create it to the object which are falling from the same height will reach the ground at the same time. And you will see the graph also of these two balls. In same way, we can create others also. So I will click on the new scene. So I am showing one related to the optics. So I will again click on the new scene. You can see the different different palettes. So I will select the one palette which is related to the optics. Yeah. This is the optics related palette. So for that, first I will choose the components. You will see the folders of the optics. We will have uh, options like the concave lens, convex lens, mirror, prism. So using the prism, I will show you that the, how the light is dispersed in the white light in the seven different colors. So for that, I will choose the laser light. Here I'm choosing the laser, but you can see that this is a yellow light. So first I will change the appearance of this light. So I will click on the appearance. Choose the white light and you will see the it has split into the seven different colors. Again, if I'm choosing the concave lens, again I will choose the laser pen and make a copy of it. So I will again clone it.
you show that the concave lens is diverging the light. And if I'm choosing the con convex lens, it converges the light source. And we can also create our own the, this convex lens mirror. I'll show you. Fine. I'm again choosing the new scene, which is optic. So first thing, I will draw a box. Then I will choose a circle. And another circle. I will, to create a concave lens, I will cut this part, like which is covered by the circle. I will cut this one, so I will select the circle, then right click, and then the combined shape. Then I will click on the subtract. In the same way, other circle also. Delete this one. In the same way, we can create a convex lens also. And when I created you of the simple thermal motion, then the mass and mass like mass energy is placed on the surface, and I I compress it. It will reach to the new position. If I stretch it, then it's in position. In the same way, we can create uh, a simulation for the different different concepts of physics. Till now, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Can respond. If you want to ask something, you can ask me. Okay, so I'm. I will tell you how to create a simple pendulum. So for that, first I will draw a bob. Then I will change into the. I will change the material of this circle. So I will click on the steel. And then I want a rope. Then I will select the rope from here and draw a rope from the center of this bow. And if I want the oscillation of the simple pendulum, so then I will click on the drag option. to start oscillating and if I want a plot of this uh, this sim simple pendulum then I will select the simple pendulum then again click on the show plot then time then y axis if I change the y axis then we can choose the kinetic energy potential energy and this one so I will play the simulation and you can see the graph of the potential energy, kinetic energy, and the total energy. So if you want have any query you can ask to me can you respond
so on the basis of this algorithm tool i created a quiz so for that i'm sharing the quiz with you So I'm sharing the screen of the thing. So for that, first you have to open your browser and then uh, type the joinmyquiz.com. And after after opening this, we have to enter the join code, which you can see on your screen. or you can join via QR code also. You will see the QR code on the screen. You can scan this code and can join the screen. All the participants have requested if you have any doubt or you, if you are facing any problem, please ask. you have to type on your browser joinmyquiz.com and after that we have to enter this code to play this quiz Only two participants has joined only. If you are facing any problem, you may ask. I will wait for two or three minutes and then I will start the quiz. In the quiz, we have a very simple questions, which is related to the algorithm tool, which is very basic.
So I'm starting the quiz. So I'm going to end this quiz. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, this is um, actually I'm passing from there to on this device. Oh, you can oh. see the leaderboard here. No, see, so, uh, uh, let, let me tell you one thing. This content content is available in almost all areas. In almost all subject. So I hope you all find this interesting and will create the simulations of the different different concepts of the physics. So if you are facing any problem, you can reach to me and, and if you have any doubt, you can ask me here. Any doubt, if you want to ask, you can ask here. So I will tell a few more things also. I'm drawing a two object like this. And here I want to join this using the rope. So I will click on the rope. You join the object like this.
في one more process. I draw a box. Then if I want to move this box, so I have to apply the force on this object. So using the thruster, here you will see the thruster option. When I click on the thruster tool, then I will apply this force on this object and can change the force value. Here it is five meter. I will can I will change it to the ten newton. And if I want to hide this force, I will select this. Then on the appearance tab, I will change the visibility of this tool. So when I play the simulation, You can see the object is moving. And if I decrease the value of the force, you will see the motion of the box. In the same way, if I draw two objects, and apply a force on these two objects, increase the force. you will see the motion of the object. Similarly, you can create the simulations of the uh, concept related to the motion and the mechanics on the fluid optic using this. And if you have any doubt, please ask. This session is going to end. I know it will, this simulation tool will take time to learn it, but if we start exploring, we will love it, we will entertain us, and we can give the assignments to the students to show their creativity on the different concepts, and we can also create the simulation which will help in clearing the concept of the physics as via simulation. I hope you all find. Uh, sir, you are not audible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sir, you are not audible. So you are not audible. What are you trying to say? Okay, I'm in the message. I'm drawing a two balls. And 
and changing the velocity. And that's why all the participants have returned to the main meeting. So okay. don't worry. Majorly, sir, must have covered all the tools. Attendance is not good. No. Attendance is not good. Pardon, sir? Attendance, afternoon attendance. Attendance, yes, we are about to send the link and we are about to announce the scene. So just wait for a few minutes. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, we yes. need information about other languages also, ma'am. Okay. Okay, other languages, for example? Hindi, Kannada, Telugu, like that. Okay, we will convey your message to our uh, head, ma'am, and in charge, and we we'll let you out, know. No? That's why we are asking. Yeah, we'll let you know once I'll discuss with ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I would like to thank all the resource persons for sharing their valuable information regarding to the subject specific tools and for enlightening all our participants related to their subjects. I hope you all will benefit uh, from the session and uh, you'll try the same in your classroom. Uh, we are sharing the evening attendance link. So kindly fill the uh, evening attendance form. And uh, now we'll take a short break for 15 minutes and we'll meet you all after 15 minutes. Thank you. <laughs>